It does come with a uh, little charger you can plug into the wall and then it just stands up on it. Comes with a little foil shaver. It's not really big enough to shave your whole face, I don't believe. I'll try to try that one out. Nose hair trimmer, edge trimmer. And I believe it's got two different guards. And here's a guard for the body shaving. And then once you put the guards on, I think it's still adjustable to the length you want to shave your hair. Ron on one five trimmer. It's called a nine in one. It says because it's got like nine different tools you can use. I was going to do an unboxing, but uh, I'm letting it charge right now. It's easier to just show you online. You can see here it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I guess you can do different things with them to make it nine, something or the other. Whatever, that's why it's called nine in one, but it's like series five. <clears throat> Anyways, even if I don't buy something on Amazon, I like to go to the reviews. So I'll click on the reviews real quick right here. There's only 362 for this one, so it must be fairly new. It does have 4.5 out of 5, which is fairly good. It's not the greatest since it doesn't have that many reviews. Anyways, I go down here and go to more reviews. And then once I have that, uh, instead of top reviews, I go to most recent. And usually if it's a really great product, there's not any negative reviews right away. It's got a mostly five stars, but then a bad one pops up right away. It's not on run. It's very tough to trim the beard. It's excellent for the head, and also the package doesn't include oil or lubricant. Um, it does say it's not a lawnmower, which means it's not the lawnmower 4.0 or whatever. So this guy talks about it's not the greatest for the lower regions because it does advertise itself as a body shaver. I did look at the blades already. It definitely doesn't have a very protective uh, trimmer for the lower regions like the lawnmower. I'm not into that type of stuff. And five stars, not clean, doesn't trim nice and clean. Uh, one star dial falls off, will break down. So right away, two reviews for the endurance not being that great. I'm only on the third page, just says cheap. Uh, this is a 20 buck trimmer from any other brand. It's very light and all the clipper blades are mostly plastic. Uh, I doubt that, but anyways, used product. That one doesn't count. That's not bronze fault. That's probably Amazon. Not great for hair cutting, but excellent for grooming beard. This is vice versa from what the one guy said. It's broken after three months, so shorted out and died. So, so bad. Uh, so there's some not so great views right away. So not a close enough trim. So overall, it's probably a solid product, but now I'm going to go put it to the test and just shave my head for now. All right, here we go with the shaving my head. It does have a guard on here and it is adjustable for the length. It's got one through 10. I usually use a number one with my uh, regular dog clippers. But I'm gonna try out with the longer length here because it's usually not the same with these trimmers as it is with the dog clippers and see how it goes. I've got it on a five and a half. So it has several different settings. Go ahead and put it down to five and see what that does. So here we go. Take it down to a four.
right, it's doing a pretty good job on my head, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my dog clippers because it's just too skinny. A little bit time consuming, but uh, it's absolutely pain free and it does a decent job of trimming. So I'm sure it'd uh, work much better just for trimming smaller areas, but uh, I'll go grab the uh, foil shaver and see how it does. All right, here's the uh, trimmer part. So I'm trying to get it in my phone and camera. All you do is go from the back and uh, this pops right off. And then so does the attachment. Just push it right off from the back. Here is the foil shaver. Just like a normal foil shaver. I'm just skip, uh, skeptical that it'll work for the face. Just slide it right on there. Looks like. So yeah, just, there's little tabs. You just push them off with your thumb, push it off. It goes right in there. Here we go. I'm gonna see how this does on my face. Pretty, pretty noisy. I'm definitely not gonna shave my whole face with it, but uh, definitely does a good job. My skin's pretty smooth, so it's definitely good for any of your trimming needs. Definitely wouldn't use it for your whole face. So I'm just gonna pop this off, go grab another attachment. This is some kind of edge trimmer. Definitely trimming a straight line. So. so this would be a good one to just trim the edge and then you could pop the foil shaver back on there and just really clean it up right there along the edges. This definitely works good for that. Pop this off and go grab another one. This is the uh, body trimmer. I could see in the reviews where they were talking about it might kind of grab you because you're not really a guard. So, give that a whirl real quick. Just gonna take another layer off of my side burr. Oh, uh, yeah, that one works really good. Flip it over and really get up that close. This one actually look, works better than the edge trimmers. I would just use the body trimmer for all of your edging. Yeah, this one's much more precise. Definitely want to use it for a regular body trimmer for big areas or downstairs like they were saying in the reviews. Last but not least, here is the nose trimmer. Definitely not a fan of the nose trimmer, it's definitely junk. So, <clears throat> there you have it, it's a overall great trimmer for just trimming. I just wouldn't use it for large areas. Um, I would definitely would not buy it just for your main shaver. It's just a handy tool to have around, just to trim around the edges.